Boom! Here we are, Inner Jiu Jitsu with my man. This is Josh Ford, original, old school. This is like, like one of the first generations of black belts that came out of Colorado. This is Josh Ford, everyone. And I'm interviewing Josh because, well, for a whole bunch of reasons. Josh, to me, exemplifies like the Inner Jiu Jitsu lifestyle. And Josh, tell us what you've been doing basically with your jujitsu that's like off the mats. Like I hear you're doing like strength and conditioning, yeah. lifestyle, uh, changes, you're, you're like a life coach. Tell the audience what you're doing. Yeah, so uh, I'm actually getting ready to open up my own gym back east, but it's all strength, conditioning, group fitness, um, with sort of healthy culture and life coaching all kind of wrapped into it. So I really want to create this thriving community of people that not just come in and get in shape, but also to... Uh, you know, connect, work on their minds, work on their lives, and, and build a community together so people can thrive in that kind of tribal setting and have some purpose for each other. Um, Jiu-Jitsu has been a, a, a big component in all of that, you know. I found, totally. I found Jiu-Jitsu at a time in my life where, um, you know, I had a fairly rough upbringing and, you know, was kind of into a lot of rough stuff, and I was trying to get my life together, and Jiu-Jitsu really kind of streamlined that. and. Uh, you know, it, it, the beautiful thing about jujitsu to me is with the way that I feel like I've analyzed it, it's shown me how to interact with anything that I want to learn. It's given me the tools to understand how I learn, but also how to understand them in a way that I can pass those on and see other people, you know, flourish and make positive changes. And, uh, you know, really, jujitsu, you know, I mean, it makes you tough, but it's really, it's, it's the philosophy and the, the mental aspects of it that have really, um, made the biggest difference to me. You know, and even things like learning how to breathe properly to control your emotions, control your fear. I, I um, one of my favorite stories is I taught a seminar at the place that I coach at, Conquest, out in Maryland. And um, most of the seminar was on breathing. And it was about how to breathe properly to control your energy, control your fear, um, you know, taking eight people, letting a pile on top of me, and mm -hmm. showing that breathing keeps me calm. Um, so I did this whole sort of seminar with people on breathing, and uh, within a couple weeks, everybody was there, started sending me messages, coming up to me. Um, I had one guy who told me, he's like, I haven't really told anybody this, but I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety in my life. Oh, yeah. And uh, he was like, the stuff that you taught me, I've immediately put into use. And, you know, he was like, I was freaking out in traffic the other day, and I pulled over. He was like, I thought about what you said. I started breathing. It calmed me down, and the rest of my day was good. And he's like, so now I, I'm applying that. And, you know... What's beautiful to me is it's not that I was able to do that. It's it's what what was around and what was taught to me and, and what I was able to thrive in to be able to pass that on. So yeah, um, you know, to me that's that's part of what I really love about jujitsu. It's not about being able to go out and, and tap guys, you know, which is fun, but it's more about being able to go out there and connect and help people learn. And like we were talking about, you know, earlier is taking the lessons that we learn on mat on the mat and showing people how to apply those. In life, you know, like taking somebody that's struggling at escaping side control and being able to explain to them, like, how when you stop resisting and you create sensitivity to feel where the openings are, then things open up for you. And it's, you know, it's being able to step back from sort of that close perception and be a little bit, a little more observational to totally. see what's around. You know? totally. So, um, yeah, that's, you know, some of what I love about jujitsu and and what I try to employ with the inner jiu-jitsu ideas and uh, you know, take it from there. He's, uh, he's like, you know, doing the life coaching. I'm really happy to hear it. You really are exemplifying all the things that like I talk about because I think like you get to a point in jiu-jitsu where, like you said, you know, competition, that's great and everything, but it's only one facet. It's only half the game. What are you going to do for your life and how are you going to affect others? That is like the bigger game, you know, as a human being and, you know, taking jiu-jitsu to the bigger level. So, yeah. Josh, you know, tell tell the people like what's one concrete way, a real strong example, perhaps where like you already gave one where you you, you helped a man with his anxiety. Um, what's another one where like you really felt like you changed the life? Maybe the person isn't even in jujitsu, but you were able to use jujitsu concepts to help a person. Um, man, I you know I use that a lot. To, to be honest with you, sort of. So life coaching, it wasn't something I pursued. It was something that sort of fell in my lap. And I got to a point mm -hmm. where I had enough people coming to me for advice. Mm -hmm. And I was seeing that I was making enough change in people's lives that I started feeling that, and my wife helped me understand this, if I didn't sort of open myself up to that ability and that pursuit, then I was sort of shortchanging those around me. And I wasn't living to my potential. And so 
to me, the concepts of coaching are the same. It doesn't matter if it's jujitsu, if it's MMA, if I'm teaching somebody how to tattoo, if I'm teaching somebody how to cook, if I'm doing life coaching. The coaching concepts are the same. It's just about seeing, like I said, sort of like the observational way to approach that person, how to help them get out of um, that stuck mindset that they're in and, and help them understand how to see their, their problems and their obstacles in a different way. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's hard to really pinpoint, um, you know, there's been a ton of stories. I've, right. I've got right. a lot of guys that I've helped. And, and uh, you know, it's funny, like I've been gone from Colorado almost four years. And, um, you know, I come back and uh, people will come up to me, and, and, you know, I'll walk into a school, people I haven't seen in years. And they're like, man, you know, I, I never got a chance to tell you this, but, you know, you said something in a class, you know, six or seven years ago that changed my life. And, and this is why, and it was before I even realized that I was taking sort of those lessons and helping people apply them in life. So, um, you know, it's hard to really to pinpoint one. It's just the fact that it, yeah, you it happens, you know, it happens, yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, um, it's beautiful. And I, I mean, I don't think you necessarily need jujitsu to be able to learn how to do that, but it's just a great example. And part of what I think helps people get to this point in jujitsu is how much we have to challenge ourselves, how much we really do have to check our egos. Um, you know, every time we're out on the mat and we tap, mm -hmm. we're asking somebody for mercy. We're mm -hmm. asking them, hey, please don't break my limb. Hey, please don't kill me. Hey, please don't put me asleep. And and it takes a lot of vulnerability to do that. And there's a lot of strength and vulnerability. So I love that that balance of what we do. We come in here and if somebody's to look in through the window, they see a bunch of people being tough. But really what we're working on is sort of embracing that vulnerability, which brings strength so that you don't you don't have those weaknesses as a parent and the stuff that we learn in here translates right over life. So. Yeah, you, you nailed it. I mean, that's the, the whole epitome of the softness, the harmony aspect of Ju and the Jiu Jitsu. You know, you, you nailed it with that. Yeah. Well, can't thank you enough, man. Josh Ford, seriously, like he's doing nutrition, strength and conditioning, life coaching, tattoo, cooking, the whole thing. So the man is living the dream. I mean, I think you're always exemplifying like the Jiu Jitsu principles out in your entrepreneurship and all the things that you're doing. I love seeing you on Instagram and Facebook and everything that you're doing. So, so keeping it real, man. One of the first of the new generation of black belts. So Josh Ford, everyone, in Jiu Jitsu.